so Lenovo has released some drivers for the Yoga 13, so I thought I'd go out and check on it. And the easiest way is to go there, Lenovo.com, if you're in the U.S., right there. You just can do a search on Bing or Google. You click on Support, and it says there it gets the drivers you want and all that. So we click on the drivers here. You can go through all this and say click on whatever it is and everything, but if the thing is very simply just say Yoga 13, or if you have an 11, type in 11. Make sure you put the space in because if you type it in, you won't find it uh, if it's all one word. So here we go here, quick path, loading, please wait. And there we are. We're at the Yoga 13 to the iPad. It already knows what operating system we have because they only came, on, I believe, with uh, 64, uh, Windows 64-bit, so Windows 8. So if you click on audio, if you look here, if you have to click on each one to see when it was released, so this is October 2, 2012. Well, in my doing this, I found that there's a new BIOS update on May, so I had missed that. And there's also a Bluetooth and modem driver, which is the same, by the way, as your wireless LAN driver. If we open up the Realtek here, okay, you'll see that this is the Realtek, this driver, and it says OTW, blah, blah, blah. If you come down here to uh, Networking Wireless LAN, we scroll down a bit, and it looks exactly the same. And sure enough, if we click on Details, you see that it's the OTB29WW. So it's the same driver, okay? It's just uh, they call it different things. And I haven't never seen that before, but... Anyways, uh, this is audio driver. We don't we don't need that and everything, so we can close that. So what you're gonna need are these two. Now, two different ways on Lenovo site. If you haven't been here before, you can add the download list. Now that download list is going to uh, make you install a download utility uh, that lets you download files at a time. But these are so small. So if you just click on download now, okay. After a while, uh, it'll open up. Uh, a dialog box will say do you want that and I always do a save as because then I can choose where exactly I want to do it and everything you can just do save and run and all that but uh, well actually on this one you don't definitely don't want to do that because you're not uh, you don't want to do that uh, that way but uh, you want to go ahead and save and then run it later and use your download instructions and by the way if you want to learn more about the actual driver and everything um, you can there's more info it says this learn more over here on each one of them now <laughs> I'm gonna cancel out of this because I've already downloaded that but if you go over here to learn more you go to the, to the details page for this driver and it says da, 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 da. now important information okay it tells you what it is everything update information normal BIOS upgrade it doesn't tell you crap about what's going on and everything it gives you instructions on how to do the, the flash your BIOS and everything if you've never done it before it's very important that you follow those exactly we're going to go through a demo here in the later part of this video but uh, usually they say well it's for newer processors or stuff like that of course on a notebook you don't have it for a newer processor unless it's a new model that has a newer process but still a yoga 13 but it's a new revision but usually it would say something that uh, to fix this or that but uh, they didn't do that so if I go back here to the page again and let's open up the Bluetooth modem one again and say learn more and this is the driver here and this is there uh, it tells you how to find it and everything manufacturer retail and everything it doesn't say a thing about what this goes on either really a uh, poor description of what the drivers do does. now what we did is I did a test of the network prior to and after and uh, that's on later on the video too but this is how you download the latest drivers from Lenovo for your yoga 13 so here we are. I moved over to a camera view now outside because you don't want to run a capture program while you're trying to upgrade your BIOS. So you go find where you downloaded it to, and this particular file is the one that was on the site. They also have terrible naming on the site, so you have to remember which one was which. Uh, in an earlier video, I told you how you can rename those to make them more sensible. And you, know, you can do that. You can say, like, BIOS version, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, apply. you have to run through this utility, and you have to make sure that you follow their instructions completely because there's warning about uh, how they do that. Yes, and even a company like uh, Lenovo can use like stupid looking graphics, but these warnings are really something to be serious about. Do not make sure your computer is plugged in so you don't lose power in a minute, your battery doesn't go dead, anything. Make sure that you uh, don't uh, launch other applications, nothing that's going to go ahead and update your BIOS. It's going to shut your computer down and apply this patch. Now, a lot of systems today, especially on the Azu systems that I built, they have this recoverable even if you screw up your BIOS and everything. 
But now, uh, on, on, I'm not sure on the Lenovo, I'm not sure if it's recoverable, and you can actually toast the motherboard to get to an usable state. It's not toasted, it doesn't burn it up, but it will not uh, restart correctly and everything. Uh, but here we go, we're in the utility, and you notice it's uh, running too. Sorry for the blurriness about it, but the brightness, you know, of course, uh, the camera right in the middle of it needed to be adjusted, didn't, couldn't react in time. But here you'll see the current version and everything, and what we're going to upgrade to and everything. And uh, of course, it says at the top, it says, please do not, you know, turn the PC off. You know, you don't want to do that. Uh, and you see an upgrade progress sticker uh, ticker going and telling you exactly how much progress you've done so far in your upgrade. So uh, here we go. We're, it's going, I'm going to go ahead and sit here and uh, wait through it. It's going pretty fast. Uh, we're at 90-some uh, percent already, and here we go. We're rebooting the PC, and you'll see as normally. I'm not going to go to the BIOS settings and show you what the settings are. Just uh, It does uh, a little overwatched here on the thing, but here's my, uh, my login. Uh, of course, I'm going to log in and find out that everything looks basically the same. I sat there and tried to um, discover a difference in memory allocation and different things like that. So I'm not sure what this BIOS update does for you. Uh, it may be something that just to be compatible with some different revision and everything you should be aware of. Uh, and keep updating. So uh, there's how you update your BIOS for your Lenovo Yogo 13.